What's up, guys? We're gonna get this inside of that. And we're gonna use this. So I picked up this sucker. So I've been using EA5 since last year and pretty much every pump that I've used, guys, pretty much shit the bed. Uh, they all end up leaking. Two, um, you pump it maybe one or two fills and then it just doesn't pump anymore. It's just like super, super stiff. So did some research online, did some Googling and we found Mr. Gasket. This pump is supposed to be rated for uh, E85 and the gaskets are not supposed to fail. So we're gonna find out. I did a uh, short on uh, Instagram and some of you guys already reached out to me saying these things uh, do fail. We're gonna show you guys today what this pump's all about and I'm gonna do a, uh, I guess, long-term uh, update to see if this holds up. Let's get started. All right guys, so here's the uh, part number. It's an, obviously it's an electric pump. And here are some of the stats, 4.2 gallons. So that's roughly about 15, 16 liters. Uh, pretty long hose, can plug into your wall and uh, various stuff. It's supposed to be meant for the drum and the little BP racing jug. And it is right here, it says methanol, ethanol, and ethanol is the biggest. Packaging. Our telescopic. So this extends so that it will reach the bottom of the barrel, you guys. Barrel. There you go. On and off switch. Plug in. And apparently it runs 12 volts too, so we can plug it into the battery and uh, it will pump. So let's try that out too for you guys today. Adapter for the barrel, I believe. And the ball bolt, like I said. So this plugs into here, and this plugs into here. So let's get this set up, you guys. So tear off, you guys. See? To remove puncture and tear off. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. God damn, man. Sheesh. And do this to the ventilation one, too, you guys. So this is kind of shit. I don't have the tool to remove this, so we're gonna figure out something. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can get this open, you guys. Should work, you guys. Let me see.
as you can see you guys it's on there real good so no choice had to spend some money and get one of these it's meant to take off that so let's see if it works like this thing looks like thor's hammer made out of uh, brass made in taiwan let's give it a go and hopefully it works Works like a charm. One time use. Mr. Gasket designed this so that it can telescope. So let's see if I can do this. There we go. We're gonna adjust it to the size. All the way down to the barrel, bottom. We're gonna adjust it. Pretty much it's almost the so full length. Tighten this just like a tripod. And I'm guessing this threads onto this that we don't need this because the thread's too big. So we'll try it. Get you guys back over here. Here we go guys. Yeah, so for the VP racing barrels, we don't need this adapter, you guys. Nice and snug. Go. Yeah, add the holes on. There's no gasket or anything inside there. Move this over for you guys. And it goes on to the hanger. However, like this, just like that. And we're going to plug this into this end. And this goes into the wall. And this can just go straight into here. Directional. Yep. And that's it. That's it. Here you go, guys. It's all plugged in. This thing going to plug into the wall. We haven't opened this up yet. And uh, we're going to start filling up here. But before we start, you guys, I'm going to show you my ethanol content uh, sensor. Or, yeah, it's on the cob because I went with the CAN bus. Uh, unlike other ethanol, I guess, ethanol. What the hell you call those uh, flex fuel kits? You have to open the hood and you know check under the hood by the battery where the little ethanol sensor is. Or you can they usually put it here too, but because because Cobb's all nice and fancy, they put it here. So uh, that's why I like Cobb. But let me give me a second. Let me just set it all up, you guys. So I'm at roughly quarter of a tank, just a little bit over a quarter of a tank at 91 octane. And in the Cobb access port here, it shows that I'm roughly around 2% ethanol. So there's really nothing in there, you guys. So let's go pump some ethanol in and uh, let's see how much it registers. So everything's all plugged in. The blue light's on. Let's grab the nozzle. All right, put it there. I'm just gonna make sure it stays in. Click the switch on. Turns on red. You hear it pumping. And, uh. Oh, oh. You know, you can see that. Oh, yeah, it's going. 
Nothing's leaking so far. No, so far so good. I'm gonna have to stop it halfway or every couple of minutes here just so that I can uh, see how much is uh, going in. So C85 is like a race ethanol. I'm thinking of mixing it with gas, uh, like 91 or 94 octane. So I don't know if this, is it gonna give me the same amount? Cause I did some reading up. C85 is like almost like a 100% ethanol. It's like we're to the point where we only good up to 85. So I'm gonna see if I can mix it. Uh, so we can get 85 instead of just everything else is just gonna go to waste. So let's see if uh, it works that way. That's my theory, I don't know. Comment below, let me know if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know you guys. So yeah, I'm just gonna mix it for now, see what happens. All right guys, so I'm done filling up and it's roughly about 75% uh, C85 and 91 octane, 25%, roughly around there, you guys. We'll see how much ethanol we have now uh, on the cob and uh, we'll go from there. But next up, we're gonna do the test. We're gonna see how much ethanol C85 has in here. And uh, we're gonna put some water in right now. Hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't spill this, you guys. Just gonna give this enough. So now it says, fill up the gasoline or ethanol and put on cap, shake, and let it sit for five minutes. There you go, guys. We're gonna sit for a bit. So while the ethanol is uh, getting tested and um, waiting for it to settle. I just wanna give you guys a quick update on my uh, daily uh, Corolla. So I've contacted my neighbor and I told her, here's the two estimates that I got and they're from legitimate uh, body shops around the area here. And obviously the Colt came in at 40, between 41 and $4,600 to fix that front bumper. And I know it's, that's quite expensive. The car's probably not even worth that much, but uh, yeah, they were in shock, you guys. And but you know what? Get this. I understand I was in shock, but she pretty much said to me that my car is a piece of shit, and it's not worth forty one hundred bucks, forty five hundred bucks, or whatever it is. They're only willing to give me fifteen to two thousand dollars to fix my car. Fifteen to two thousand, because they they deem. That is because what my car looks like. That's just ridiculous, man, you guys. What do you guys think? You go and hit my car, and then go and tell me my car is a piece of crap, and it's only worth $1,500, so we're gonna just gonna give you $1,500. Where do you get off telling me that, eh? That's, that's just absurd. That's up, just outrageous, you guys. That's just, ah, just, we're gonna go through insurance. I gave her the opportunity, because, yeah, just some circumstances with her kid that was driving is, uh, in Canada or in Alberta here, you have to have levels of graduate license. So there's probation where they shouldn't be operating at 1.30 in the morning by themselves. And obviously he was. And I kind of explained to her and she thought like I was just threatening her and so like, no, just give me an opportunity. Like if you pay out of pocket, you don't have to go through the system and your kid's not going to be listed or, you know, because I to get it fixed through the insurance, I have to file a rep uh, police report they get the stickers to get it fixed and that's how it works around in alberta here um yeah and she just made it as if i'm the guy that's just attacking her and so yeah regardless guys that's why i'm just giving you guys the update this i don't know just retarded people all these days and uh yeah my car is apparently a piece of crap well a few minutes have elapsed you guys and you can clearly see there's a separation and it's like almost E95, like almost a hundred percent. Like it's just, yeah, it's, uh, I would say e, e, E93, but E93, based on the YouTube channel that I watch, that vlog, it says that it didn't show up or anything like that. So I don't know how it is in the States, you guys, but I'm just gonna move it over a little bit while I was talking to you guys. But I'm gonna put the link up in the card up here. 
Go check it out, you guys. They do test out the C85, X85, and pump ethanol, and all that good stuff. So check out that channel. And But there is a little bit of discrepancy because on that channel, it says that it doesn't really show, but on mine here, you can clearly see that golden orange or golden yellow separation. All right, guys. So here's the other option that they give you. You just plug it in here. And of course, self really self-explanatory. I uh, plug this into your battery terminals. It's a kind of a nice feature that they give you so that, uh, you know, if you had the car meet or at the racetrack and you want to fill up your tanks and uh, here you go. If you have no battery source, you just plug it into your battery. And uh, I'm not really keen on the, let's put this down for you guys. I'm not really keen on the battery powers or not battery power, but the uh, 12 volt or whatever it is. Um, I'm not really keen on it because what if you don't have a battery or no power source and you want to just fill up your car? But you're probably going to say, oh, you can fill up your car with your battery. I, I, know, I know, but I'm just saying if you didn't have a car and you want to fill up like these little tanks, you're kind of in the jam because you don't have power. But other than that, it's, it's pretty good. It's, so far, it's pretty good. Just like every other pump that I have. First few fill ups, no problem. It's like, it's awesome, you guys. Yeah, so far, it, it's working fine. But I'm going to give you guys an update and then a, a few more vlogs later. Because um, they tend to fail right away, you guys. You fill up, and then you give it a week or two, and you go fill up again, and it's just dead. So I'll let you guys know. Uh, leave a comment below, you guys. What do you guys think of this pump? Uh, the quality is, I think it could be better. It's, just, it's all plasticky, and uh, what else can it be? Uh, I'll leave the link in the description, you guys. Mr. Gasket, I got it on Amazon. Can't remember exactly what it was. Like, I think 300 bucks, something like that. And uh, I'll let you know how uh, VP Racing C85, X85 is a, it's a mix of gasoline and this is C85, it's straight race ethanol, you guys. So that's the difference. And uh, again, check out that link. Uh, they do all bunch of tests on uh, the difference of VP Racing fuels. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm gonna go enjoy my uh, Father's Day. I don't know what's, uh, what the plan is, what my kids have for me, but hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy with your fathers, your daughters, your sons, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. See ya!